showing off corn. And just how wet it is. Hopefully you can see the dead spots out there and how yellow and unhappy it is. Yep. Now this isn't my corn, but I'm just showing off uh, how wet it's been. That the, you, know, corn, you see how on the edge it's real tall because it's dry. We look across the road and hopefully there is good enough zoom on the camera to see been replanted over there, um, in which I had to do the same thing, had to replant corn, uh, but we just got rain upon rain upon rain. It wasn't a crust thing, it was a mud thing and rotting. Oh, well, the rain has stopped for a few days. Let's get to our other adventure. So there's some yellow sweet clover here. That's dry because the trees suck in moisture. There's a small dip right here. And this is, I don't know what this is, but I would call it swamp grass, some sort of swamp grass. I see it growing close to ponds and in wet areas. And uh, let's take a look at the dirt. This has been no-tilled. Uh, in the past, sir, I mean, a long, long time ago, I'm sure it was plowed before no-till was a thing. I don't see it so much here. Uh, we see it on this glob of soil a little bit, hopefully. Uh, do you see the changes in the color? The color's these browner and then grayer spots. Um, out in the middle, I've, I, like, I can see the orange of like the iron in the soil. I would assume it's iron because of the orange. Well, black, back to blurry vision it is because, well, the Hero 8 Black is being a monkey. So I'm using the old 7 Black that's scratched. Uh, so we saw the disc. It's back there looking great. And look what we put on. Oh yeah, LEDs. I actually did that because the non-factory halogens that somebody put on, they did a good job, uh, started overdrawing the breaker that was put in the wiring that was not factory wiring. So I fixed that. In the shadows, can we see anything on the front? If you can't see it, then uh, that's a good thing. I'm sure you can by now, not really come this way. Yep, that's an LED light bar. Um, it's all because it's what they had at Rural King. We couldn't find LEDs anywhere, really. All the local automotive places didn't have any. And that's what Dad brought home from Rural King. Um, they make light. I wouldn't say they're the best at floods but they make light and it's better than being out here in darkness. And I'm sure we may get to see that. I'm double disking my way across the field. So let's get back in the tractor. So I'm double disking my way across the field. Or what I mean by double disking is I'm splitting my middles and using it just like a planter marker, cutting across um, because it, it's not leaving a very noticeable furrow and it'd be hard to see especially if I get going after dark here, that this is very easy to see. And I don't have much drawing of the soil to be able to, say, differentiate on the second pass of where I've been and where I've not been based on color from wetness. Yes, this would probably be a very awesome field in a drought year, and it's gonna probably whip me in a wet year from wetness. So hopefully we don't have too many more wet years and that this six year string of wet springs and stuff is gonna get itself under wraps and quit. It, see a lot of the old <clears throat> grass material that grew up last year, I guess that's free organic material, probably got a solidly full seed bank of uh, barnyard grass and other warm season grasses. That's no big deal. That's easy to fight. 
I like seeing other weeds out here because that tells me it's drier. The fact that there is no like yellow rocket or butterweed or anything like that, and there's not even much rough stock bluegrass, uh, I don't want to say it scares me, but when I see that, I know that's a dry spot because that stuff was able to survive the winter because those are winter annuals. So they didn't need floaties, and then it was dry. Oh, coming to the turn. Got a quick stop and take a break. If we look at that brown spot there, that is a crawdad mound. I'm too lazy to get out of the tractor again, so hopefully the zoom works and you can see that about in the middle of the screen, probably in the blur. Uh, so I, I would like to grow a better crop of, say, corner beans here. Than probably what will grow for crawdads. I'm sure th this could be a field that grows a solid crop of crawdads. Well, may have to resort to rice. Well, how much can we see? Yeah, full power is in low. Light on the dash says the lights are on. And there's a little bit of glow. It's not a super bright. Light at all. At all. And I'm just trying to swim my way back towards civilization. I'm wrapping it up now for the day. This needs to dry. Holy cow. Making the most of the four wheel drive, that's for sure. There's the lights out the back. No LEDs? LEDs. Lights out the front. No LED. The LED lights it up right down the middle because these side lights. Oh, can't see that, but they leave a big dead zone down the center. So the LED fills that in up front, but it's the light bar does not spread it at all. It's just a spotlight. Uh, but we're not in the dark, so that's fantastic. I guess we'll come back tomorrow morning and see how much this dries. Well, I've attacked this dirt four times with the disc. And, uh, well, I guess it looks okay. It's ready for anhydrous. There's a couple places where the grass is taller. so well, but that won't happen until this gets rained on and it dries and we have time for that. We're racing to get this done as fast as we can before it rains again. That's, that's just how it goes. It rains too much, rains too often, and we've gone almost a week without a rain now. And we could go another week and be okay. We could go a third week and I still wouldn't be rain. So just testing out how long the camera is going to record. Uh, but we can walk out here, see the dust we're making. Finally a wee bit of dust. Got to bake the moisture out of this ground so that way it's ready to accept the next large rain we get. And probably two or three or ten after that that won't just quit. But uh, yeah, I'm not driving the tractor. Over there between the trees is a 1086 knife and anhydrous. So I don't have much time here. I need to get back on with life. I'm knifing anhydrous and my uncle John is driving the TW. Uh, pulling the soil finisher, getting this ready to plant. And hopefully dad gets back here soon with another tank of anhydrous. Because that tank won't finish everything that's here. There's more behind that tree line. This is the dry section up front. And uh, we'll... Stand in the dust cloud like pig pen. Watch him roll by, enjoy the scenery. Oh yeah, look at those lack of front weights. Looks so open and airy. And maybe that's because we're not like in Europe where it's all three point implements. I did notice that while I just ate lunch is that most American equipment now, especially since we're getting out of the plowing era, is all drawbar draft. 
Well, the other camera just gave out, so I'm out here with this one, the old one, getting a nice blurry view of the action. Oh, watch the soil finisher go by. This side, it's smoother and easier to walk on. But you can see we've got our mix of size stuff. You still see some of the grass clods. This was somewhat grassy in some places. Swamp grass, mostly. Uncle John's waving hi, wondering why I'm running along. So the soil finisher is about 14 feet. And without wings, can be hell to take down the road. Whew, man, it's dusty back here. You can see we got a little color difference between light and dark, and the harrows pulling things out and leveling. Ugh, mouthful of dust. Now, who notices that the doors are closed on the tractor and the windows are shut? Yes, we have something with working AC. Uh, we put in a couple cans a refrigerant this morning, and it's somewhat pleasant in the cab. Plus, you know, we're mostly out of the dust. By we, I mean Uncle John gets that joy and satisfaction since he kind of put the refrigerant in. Makes it a, a nice ride. I managed to find a belt for the compressor that like we just had laying around. It's not the proper belt, but it fits. So it's hard to enjoy the AC on camera, but just imagine how cool and dust free it is in there. Now on the outside, the windows are dusty, yes. But on the inside, it's about as good as uh, sitting on the couch watching soap operas. Okay, we'll watch one more turn and then I gotta get back to work. We can't lollygag watching the soil finisher all day. I think he's, I think he's in fifth gear. I started him in fourth and told him when he got comfortable to go up a gear. And we'll watch all 401 turbocharged cubic inches of six cylinder power make a dust cloud as we walk away and get back to the gas work. I will make a more thorough anhydrous video later, especially when I'm not driving. Uh, so you see, we got the big tank here, hooked behind the other tank here. Uh, it's not transferring much, but the pressure is high. That's because we're downhill. So I'm pulling the one tank behind the other so I don't have to sit there and waste 40 minutes to refill tanks. Because that really drives me nuts. And from this angle, so you can like see under the dusty window, can't see the tank behind us. Uh, but it's been pretty nice to not have to stop and refill. I just uh, can't tell how much I have left. But theoretically, if we were pulling, just a bar with a tank behind it. Wouldn't be able to see, the only thing we would see is the pressure gauge on the regulator dumping it out. So let's get back to it. Tips up. We'll pick a gear. Low four is the speed we've calculated for our regulator. Time to get to it. Got to get around this little wet spot to the entrance of the field. And where it's green down low below the trees, that is a very, very anti-dry spot. Very anti-dry. I'm gonna put you guys down because you're gonna get whiplashed on my head and stuff. And we'll see you later with more action. We're having a race. I mean, slowly Uncle John's catching up to me based on width. But as far as ground speed, 
Uh, we're pretty close. I'm in fourth gear. Like I said, I'm guessing he's in fifth. Um, but I know that's stuck in low on the dual power, and then with the bigger tires, it might be about the same speed as this. Still haven't figured the dual power out, but it's still rolling, still pulling, we're still getting work done. So we're rolling. I've got uh, a few acres left here and covered many, many acres over there. Another view out the back. Not that you can see the gauge. We're over 100 pounds of pressure and it's not transferring. I mean, we're obviously letting pressure out the knives. Um, but typically sitting still doing nothing if this is if this if the tank right we can see here is empty enough it'll put 15% in if it's starting with almost zero pressure I don't think we were fully out of pressure and we must not be letting it off which means we're putting enough liquid out that we're not just letting vapors out so that's a good sign it's dusty back there it's dusty up here um, but apparently he's not making much dust over there, probably because I'm disturbing the surface just enough to get all the dust going on.